Hello folks, hope everybody's keeping well. Uh, welcome to Martin's Kitchen up in Grandstown. We're on the, the run down to Christmas, four, four days to go now. Um, but listen here, what I'm going to do tonight is roast root vegetables. Um, and it'll be perfect with your turkey, but it'll go with beef, lamb, chicken, pork, anything like that. Um, I've got sort of the main roast veg here, you know, it's, I've got carrots, I've got parsnips, but I'm going to add beetroot to it. Um, you could do celery, uh, that sort of stuff, but here I've got, and then the wheat flavours, I've got, you know, garlic, and I've got thyme, you could use rosemary. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of par cook that in the oven, sort of roast it with a, you know, in a casserole dish. And then we're going to take the lid off and we're going to add balsamic vinegar, we're going to add Worcester sauce, honey, and get it all glazed and nice and sticky almost. But anyway, listen, I'll show you, I'll just get my hands washed here. I've got the oven set for 180, so that's probably the temperature you will cook your, your turkey. So anyway, um, quantities is entirely up to you. I've got two carrots here, reasonably large, two parsnips, a few beetroot, a couple of red onions. Um, so whatever quantities you want, you know, it depends on how you're cooking for. And we're going to cut them quite chunky. You don't want to cut them too small because they will sort of go mushy. Um, you want a wee bit of bite in them. And they'll probably take in total an hour to cook in the oven. But what we're going to do is sort of first 20 minutes before we add any of these sort of nice flavours, we're going to sort of give them, just get them started in the oven. Because if we add the balsamic and the honey too soon, an hour in the oven, they're going to be sort of caramelised. So anyway, a good heavy duty casserole dish. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these nice and chunky. So don't, don't cut them too small because they will go too soft on you. So nice big chunks. Parsnips, if your parsnips are too big, just cut the core out of you know, it's normally a sort of a woody core, but these ones are reasonably small, so and I'm just going to cut them. And listen, different shapes, it just gives a wee bit of variety as well, which is nice. And I say you could put, I'm putting red onion in it today, you could put, you know, large shallots in it or whole baby shallots in it. So I'm just going to cut them at a slight angle, just all slightly different. Um, beetroot, I'm just going to cut in half and then I'm going to cut in half again. So in the four, but depending on the size of your beetroot, I haven't peeled them, they're just washed. Just give them a good scrub. That one's a wee bit bigger, so I'll cut it smaller. That's one more beetroot, that's probably enough. But you know, you could go equal quantities of everything. Uh, red onion. I've got these peeled, just leave the core on, it sort of holds it together a wee bit. Just cut it into wedges. And cloves of garlic, I'm going to go with maybe three or four cloves of garlic there. And I'm not going to crush them, I'm not going to peel them. I'm just going to give them, just break them, the back the palm of your hand. That just releases the oils. So that's that. I mean, this, if you're doing this for Christmas Day, do it the day before. Honestly, this, and just put it somewhere cold. You know, have it all ready so you can just put it in and make life easier for yourself. Um, and that's it. I think, so we're going to put in a few sprigs of thyme, and those wee woody bits we can just lift out. If the leaves fall off them, all the better. So just a few sprigs of thyme. And then we're going to season it up. Salt and pepper. And we're just going to go, because we want them starting to cook, we're just going to go with a small amount of water just to start them off. But that will evaporate. The veg will absorb it um, and it'll evaporate. So I'm just a wee drizzle of oil. And then there's about 20, 30 grams of butter there. Just going to dab that. And I'm going to get my hands in here. Just give it a good mix. I mean, if you look at that there now, you can have that ready Thursday night, ready to put in the oven. And I say, if your turkey's taking three three hours to cook, 
stick that in an hour before your turkey's ready and it'll be lovely. So you've got all the flavours in there, it'll be thyme, you could use rosemary, whatever. So I'm going to stick this in the oven for 20 minutes with the lid on um, and then we're going to come back, give it a wee mix and then we're going to add the, these three boys here, the Worcester sauce, the balsamic, it's balsamic glaze, it's like syrupy, so it's got sugar in it and some honey. So that's what we'll get. We'll get it started. So the oven set for 180 degrees. We'll get that in there just to start. 20, 15, 20 minutes. And this will be perfect for your roast beef. So right folks, so the, the vegetables have been about 15, 20 minutes now. And I'd say they're, they're nowhere near cooked, but it just started, I'll just show you what sort of what you're looking for. Anyway, should be, these should still be quite firm. Yeah, they're still firmest in them. But they look great. I mean probably out of the all of them the beetroot will take the longest. But what we're gonna do we're gonna start to add all these like flavours in. And listen, the beetroot's gonna bleed. Don't worry about that. It's sort of all the vegetables mix into each other. So now and all the, the water I don't know if you can see that, there's very, very little water in there now. So it won't need any more water. So we're just going to give it a splash of Worcester sauce. And then we're going to give it a splash of this, just balsamic glaze. You could use balsamic vinegar, but this glaze, it's got sure, you know, sweet and sharp, it's, it's lovely. So just, I don't know what, but two, three teaspoons. And then just equal quantities of honey two or three teaspoons. You don't want it too sharp and you don't want it too sweet. You know? and so we're going to put this in the oven, back in the oven for uncovered for maybe another 25-30 minutes. So you're talking like a good hour in total. But that's all going to evaporate and now the honey, and we'll go back and test it. If it needs to splash more honey, we'll do it. If it needs to splash more vinegar, we'll do it. But we're just going to put them in uncovered now and it'll start to glaze and it'll go all sticky and sweet and sharp um, and the vegetables will sort of, they're not going to go to mush so we'll give it another sort of 25 minutes in the oven still 180 degrees and we'll come back to it, it should be nearly ready thanks okay folks, so the veg now is about 40-45 minutes the first 20 minutes there was no, it was just butter, olive oil, a small bit of water, salt and pepper and the you know the thyme and garlic. Then I put the balsamic and honey and Worcester sauce in it. I've given it another 20-25 minutes. So we're going to just going to see what it looks like. Now. And this is with the lid off. But it's not far. I'd say another 15 minutes. So I'm just going to taste it. Just mix this together, and that looks. I mean, it's not far off being ready. That with your turkey this sun uh, this uh, Christmas would be fantastic. So I'm just going to taste it here just to see if it's got the, the right balance between the honey and the, the balsamic. So it'll be hot, so just... No, not far off, but it needs that wee bit more vinegar and just a wee bit of honey, but it's about equal quantities. So that's about five or six teaspoons now of the balsamic and the same in the honey, but be very careful. You're not, you don't want to turn this into a dessert. You don't want it too, too sweet. I'm just going to give it another wee pinch of salt there. But I would say we're going to give it another 10, 15 minutes and it'll be lovely and glazed. We don't need to add any more water because it's, it's all, it's evaporated. So just going to give this one more mix, another 10, 15 minutes and that'll be perfect. That, you know, by the time your turkey's rested and all, this'll be lovely. And you sort of five minutes of doing your broccoli and your cauliflower, your greens. But another, we'll come back to this another 10 15 minutes and we'll taste it. But it should be ready by then. Okay, folks, the roast vegetables, they've had the full hour now. So the first 20 minutes was covered. No honey, no balsamic in it, just a tiny, tiny bit of water, the butter, the olive oil, salt and pepper, and then the garlic and the thyme. Next 20 minutes off was. I added these here and then I give it another 20 minutes and then I've added a small bit more. So this is the full hour. Um, 
even the smell, and, I mean, you can see these are going to be lovely. Uh, you know, look at that there. They're still sizzling. Just give them a wee mix. And you could chop some parsley through that or some chives, but listen, them, the, the thing about, say Christmas day, you don't want your vegetables to play second fiddle to your turkey. These are so easy to do. Anybody could do them. Um, they're sweet, they're sticky, they're, they're soft, but each, each flavor, you know, each vegetable, you can taste separately as well. So I'm just gonna, I've, as I say, beetroot's my favorite. So I'm just gonna try the beetroot. I say, you can see it's, it's cooked lovely. And this is gonna be hot. For me, touch more salt. Just a wee bit. So that's it. I'm just gonna give it a shake to just see that. Put that in the middle of the table, Christmas day, and people will be impressed. It's rustic, you know, there's no there's no fancy fancy thing about this, just Get it in there, cook it for an hour, mix it every so often so all the honey and the balsamic are coating the, the vegetables. And I say it is lovely. So just a quick recap, two or three carrots, two or three parsnips, two or three red onions. I have got beetroot, I think beetroot's lovely. Um, you could use celery, I turnip, no I wouldn't use because that sort of might go mushy. Um, so a full hour cooking. Three different sort of timings. First 20 minutes covered. Second 20 minutes, I've added some honey balsamic. And then for the last 20 minutes, I've just added a bit more. And it glazes up lovely. So that's it, folks. Christmas Day, your family will be impressed with that. Um, stick in an hour before your turkey's finished. And you won't be disappointed. So anyway, folks, stay safe. I hope everybody has a happy Christmas uh, and a safe one. And... Give it a go, it's worth it. Okay, bye.